to the district. We're exactly one week away from the DC primary. Next Tuesday, voters will head to the polls to decide their party's nominee for DC Council, DC's delegate to uh, Congress and shadow Senate. But if you want to get ahead of the crowds, early voting does pick back up again today. And Jess Arnold joins us live from the Arthur Capper Community Center in Southeast DC. And Jess, what are the key things we need to know? Well, you got to know that early voting lasts until June 2nd, which is two days before the primary, which is, of course, on June 4th. Now, there are 25 early voting centers open like this one where you can go and vote in person before primary day where there will be many more options for you to head to the polls and vote this one as well as the other early voting centers open in just about two hours. So at 830 they'll stay open until 7 p.m. If you do want to go in person to cast your ballot and I want to show you some footage. I got a little bit of a behind the scenes look at them counting some of those mail in ballots at the Board of Elections that had come in early as well. Also looking as they prepared the equipment that they were going to be dropping off here at these early voting centers. Now, a few things to note about voting in D.C. You can register the same day that you vote at one of these centers. You have to bring proof of residence to do so. Now, you can only vote in the primary if you are affiliated with a party. Independent voters, you'll have to wait until the general election to cast your ballot. Now, you no longer have to go to one specific location based on your address, though. You can show up and vote at any center. They'll just print your ballot right there for you, or you can vote digitally. Now, there are multiple council member races, as well as the presidential nominee, congressional delegate, and shadow representatives. Now, you also might have had this voter guide mailed to you. It gives you a look at some of these ballots if you are still deciding who you want to cast your ballot for. Again, the primary is on June 4th. You can also drop your ballot off in one of those ballot boxes that we see across the city. And if you want to mail in your ballot, it just has to be postmarked by June 4th. Guys. All right, Jess, lots of great information. Thank you. And you can check out all of our full voting guide for the D.C. primary just by going to WUSA9.com or go and use our WUSA9 mobile app.